Okay, this is Sheila again. I had forgotten to tell y'all about our, what I call poke salad, the modern way. So, uh, we have right here, if you want to come up, and we have five cans of Popeye's spinach. And I have tried Del Monte and all the name brands, and Popeye's is just as good. And you cook, you put it in a skillet with some olive oil. It's a healthier way with the olive oil. And you try to cook all the uh, juice out of it as much as possible. And today, what I'm going to do is use egg beaters to make it even more healthier. Let me try to get a little bit more of that juice out right there. Because I don't like, a, I don't want uh, the juice in here. We don't need that in there. So we're going to try to get a little bit more out and try to get as much as you can out. And like I said, if you don't have a place or are not familiar with picking poke salad in the south, this is just like it. Nobody can tell the difference. So what I've done, I've not even, I'm going to put a little bit, I don't think it needs a lot of salt, but we're going to put a little bit. Like I said, a dab, it may not, we'll put a little more than a dab, maybe two to three dabs. And I, like I said, I always like the black pepper, so I go ahead and just take the lead off of that. And I put my black pepper on it, that gives it a good seasoning. And instead of, I cut my uh, heat down to medium heat. And I'm going to make a place to put my eggs. And instead of breaking the eggs today, we're going to use egg beaters. And what I do is I just pour the egg beaters in on the side. And that's a probably about a third of that box. And we're going to put a little black pepper on those. And I'm going to turn my heat up to where they'll start cooking. Just a little bit of salt on that and we let them cook and they'll start bubbling here in a minute and when they start bubbling and they look like they're cooking good we're going to cut the heat back down and let them cook also I have my son-in-law some pinto beans he does that like black-eyed peas showing you the potatoes after they're finished they're good and soft and with that crispy edge on them ready to go in a cast iron skillet also, this is my cabbage. It's not too brown, but it's tender and has just enough glaze, the brown glaze, to make it delicious. This is a result of our cornbread. This is my son-in-laws and grandsons, and they're huge, but they're going to be delicious. This is my little granddaughters and her husband. So they're both beautiful, and they'll both be good. So, and then we have our, like I say, I mean our cooked cabbage our bacon and then if you'll go around this way we have our corn casserole and then we have our cabbage casserole so i want to go ahead and show you the rest of how this turns out here as you can see it's starting to bubble a little bit so we're not messing with that we're just going to let it sit there and bubble and on a big stove the biggest stove i you have I have two big ones and one little one. So as you can see, it's working its way in there. So it does take a few minutes. Turn that up just a little bit more. And this is delicious and healthy. If somebody's on a low carb diet, this would be perfect side dish with a piece of, now you can't be on a low carb diet and eat cornbread, but this is so good. And uh, you can eat it with pinto beans, black-eyed peas. You can eat that with just about anything as a side dish. And I have even seen people have just a baked potato or and this. And it's really good. You have to try this to see. So you start working your eggs, which it'll do just fine with regular eggs too. Working your eggs in with your spinach or what I call the modern-day poke salad. And if you don't tell anybody, nobody will know the difference. I've actually had people to come for New Year's dinner. And I said, that's poke salad. And they thought that they were in heaven because they had no idea. So I just want to go ahead and put this on there so you can see the finished product. Like I said, this is five cans of Popeye's spinach drained as best I could. A little bit of olive oil in the bottom of your skillet, which makes it more healthy. And then about a third of a container of egg beaters. 
or you can put your eggs in and I would put for a five cans of uh, spinach I would put at least I would beat up si at least six eggs in a bowl and make sure they're beaten and, and a good mixed up mixture of the eggs and I'll put them in there with all the white just mix them up to where they just really look like uh, scrambled eggs already in the bowl and then put that in there and as you can see that's turning out really good and this is going to be delicious I have a little bit of company for my New Year's dinner and it makes me happy to have my family here or friends and family to share meals with me it makes me happy this is a joy of my heart I uh, like to be anything that makes me happy as, as a making food for my family and friends and serving the Lord and you know my grandson's name is Isaac and that means laughter and everywhere he's at there's laughter and my other grandson's name is Jacob so and then I have a God grand, great grandson who is named Bryson Abraham and so you know I've been blessed I have Jacob Isaac and Abraham so that looks like that's just about done I want to make sure that I'm going to keep stirring that just a little bit more and making sure those egg beaters are good and done until I get some more of that water out of there from the spinach. And it looks like it's doing pretty, pretty good. So that's going to be the end of our video. And again, I say thank you and may God bless. I hope you enjoy the videos. If there's something you'd like to see, be sure to text me. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Or if you'd like to see more videos, just give me a thumbs up and share it for me, please. And hopefully Miss Brenda Gant will see this and then she'll come and visit me in my kitchen and we can cook up a meal that will be fit for a king. Thank you very much.